happy Sunday. I know all of my vlogs lately have been New York City vlogs, but we're going back today. It's a Broadway day. We're going to see Hamilton. There's a lot of cars. I've been waiting six years to see this show. So needless to say, I am very excited. I don't know how long this video will be. I don't know if I'll combine it with something else, but I definitely wanted to document it. So welcome to the video. We just got out of Hamilton. I cried, obviously. Now we're getting cookies. Got our cookies and we're heading into the Times Square Disney store because what else would I do, quite frankly? child this is so cute they say if you dream a thing more than once it's sure to come true that's cute here's my haul I got I'm getting a Disney Halloween mask for our trip in October and the Disney New York pin to add to my pin collection I neglected to film, but we just got Joe's, so I'll insert some past footage of Joe's here. We just got home from the city. I like stabbed myself in the eye, so it's all red. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's like, it's all wonky now. But I filmed like nothing today, so I wanted to at least show you the cookies we got from Schmackery's, so let me show you. First, we got this oatmeal scotchy, which is an oatmeal cookie with butterscotch chocolate chips and vanilla, which looks delicious. And then we got a dolce de leche, which is just like a snickerdoodle cookie with caramel in it. I've had these before. So good. I've never tried the oatmeal scotchy, so we'll see how that one is. And then I got a fluffernutter, which is just like a peanut butter cookie, has peanut butter chocolate chips, and then a like fluff frosting, so that one looks super good. And then cookies and cream, which we've had before. Um, it's just like an Oreo cookie with like Oreo stuffing frosting. And then this funfetti cookie, which is just like a sugar cookie with cake frosting and sprinkles. These are all so good. Especially now that I'm working in the office again, because sometimes you just kind of like need a mid-afternoon pick-me-up. Um, I know I have to get up like super early to go into the office and I usually don't do that. So having to do that is a really big difference for me. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you what I'm currently reading since, you know, we're going to become a booktube here. I'm reading Before by Anna Todd, which I was not supposed to read this year, but basically what happened is I made this list of 25 books I wanted to 25 no 24 books I wanted to read 
in 2021 because my goal was to read two books a month but then I decided I was going to change my goal to be one book every two weeks um, because I realized I was reading really fast. Sorry, like I said, my eye is just like a mess right now. Um, so I added gray, to, or not gray, I added Freed to my list, which is Fifty Shades Freed from Christian's point of view. And then I decided before was going to be the other book I was going to read, since I've already read the other four, I thought it would just make sense to read the fifth. Um, so that is that with books. Those are my cookies. I'm going to go change, get a little more comfortable. I guess let me show you the dress I'm wearing first, and then I'm going to change and get more comfortable, and then we'll talk about Hamilton. Okay, so here's the outfit that I wore to Hamilton today. I curled my hair. My makeup was really nice. It's been hours now, so it's gross. But anyways, this dress is a Lauren Conrad dress. I got it at Kohl's. It's just like red. It looks like it's a wraparound, but it really just ties. So I don't know. Um, it There's a little clip here. So if you want it to be like a date night dress instead of like a business casual dress, you could do that if you please and then i just wore it with my like adidas cloud foam sneakers so comfy clothes time i feel much better now this is not anything exciting but uh, my outfit is just this like rainbow tie-dye spirit jersey it's disney world and these like pink fila athletic shorts so now let's talk about hamilton okay so i have been waiting to see hamilton since before it even opened on broadway I'm one of those people who's been listening to it since like 2014 and just absolutely obsessed, right? Um, I had tickets to go see it in 2017, but it was for the same day that I had to report to the University of Edinburgh for my study abroad orientation. So I never got to go, which sucked um, because that was the original cast. It would have been Lin-Manuel, it would have been Leslie Odom Jr., it would have been Chris Jackson, it would have been Jonathan Groff, and it would have been absolutely phenomenal. I'm not saying tonight wasn't phenomenal, but I was really excited for that. So today, fast forward, we walk in and the cast is very different than that opening cast, and obviously they're all so incredibly talented. Um, but it's weird listening to the same soundtrack forever and then listening to different people sing it to you. So I think the biggest difference was having a Hamilton who could sing um, because Lin-Manuel can't. He says that all the time. He's not like great. Um, so having somebody singing Hamilton's music instead of speaking it was like a wild experience. Um, the guy who was playing Aaron Burr tonight, um, I heard some mumblings in the audience that people didn't think he was that good. I thought he was absolutely phenomenal. I thought his rendition of Dear Theodosia was incredible. Nobody's ever going to be better than Leslie Odom Jr. I'm sorry to say it, but it's just true. He is phenomenal. But this guy, the way he did Dear Theodosia was amazing, like really, really good. Um, our Eliza Schuyler was crazy good. Our Eliza Schuyler probably could have beat out the lead from The Color Purple for the leading women's Tony um, the year that Hamilton swept the Tonys, but that's fine. No, no hate to Philippa Sue. She was also incredible. The girl we had today was just like absolutely phenomenal. I mean, she played Diana Ross in Motown. I, you have to be you gotta be pretty good to do that. So she was incredible. I loved listening to her sing every moment. Um, she made me cry twice because she was just so good. But we had a lot of fun at the show. A lot of the tech things were super cool. Um, some music that was different now than it is in the soundtrack. They like added some like EDM beats into it, which was super interesting. Um, choreography was really good. The ensemble we're incredible dancers. I mean, you need a lot of control to be able to move slow motion like that. Um, so a lot of respect for the whole cast. It was a really good show. I cried twice and yeah, we had a lot of fun today. Um, editing Alex here. I just want to say, um, I didn't talk about this on Sunday night because I didn't know until Monday. Um, we also got to see James Eichelhart, uh, be Thomas Jefferson and it was crazy. I have bought tickets to see him 
um, in a show before and had his understudy. So the fact that I saw him, didn't recognize that I saw him and missed out on getting his autograph of my playbill kind of sucks, <laughs> but it was really awesome to see him. He's absolutely phenomenal. If you get a chance to go see him in literally anything, I don't care what it is, like go. Um, he is he just takes over the stage and he's so good. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to this video just because there's nothing to really go with it. So sorry if it's short. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you in the next one.